Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I thought the last episode would be the the last one, but I figured out we have some bugs, and I wanted to fix them. So the first bug is zero division. You cannot divide by zero. But it's working now. Plus five. No, it's not working properly. So I want to set if you divide by zero, I want to set it back to to the start position. I mean I mean zero everything. And um, and the other thing is, if you make a calculation like one hundred, one thousand plus two thousand equals three hundred three thousand minus thousand, it remains three thousand. So it. it isn't working as as it should be so let's start with a zero division it's quite simple um, in the previous episode it was current number we gave back but we have to change it to previous number this is the first thing and the next Next thing is that um, we delete this, copy this, and create a case statement for equals, paste it, and break. The reason is because none and equals would be so in these two cases. The, you have to um, give back the current number. Okay, and next, um, I want to remove this button equal and use the same operator function, oh, operator function with operators dot equals. And this is going to be good, but but this way you will not see the, the answer for your calculation. So let's make an if statement here. If not equals with operators dot equals, then the current number. So don't change the current number to zero. Show the answer. Okay. Then if you if you run this, we will see most of the things is working, but there is one other thing that should fix and you will see in a couple of seconds. Okay, I run it. So, 100 plus 200 equals 300 minus 100 is 200. It's working. But if you want to start a new calculation, okay, there is a C button here, but in um, a normal um, calculators, you can just start. Um, giving you new numbers and and make a new uh, calculation and I forgot to to zero the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, 
if you yeah I, I, I uh, as I said earlier I want to zero everything and uh, um, we divide by zero so some number gives back zero then the current number will be will be zero and the previous number will be zero and I want to make the last operator to be operators dot num and uh, this way you will start again and to work around this new number thing to start a new calculation I figured out that we if we divide the switch uh, statement into two switches then in here you can see if the button we pressed was a number or an operator so well, let's make a float call it num and it will be equal with uh, the current number and let's see if this num has changed uh, or the current number has changed if it's not equals and the last operator was equal operator then we want the current number oh I, I will show you what we we are using this before before I do this because because um, no yep I, I have to use this so I will show you why we need if you set the current number to zero and the last operator to be operators dot none and I will show you why you need this float num first thing is is because you have to determine if if the current number has changed if changed and you press a, a, the a button I mean a, a number button okay but once on eight as you can see the first number is disappeared and I figured out if we just as you can see every time we press a number button we multiply it by 10 so the difference between the current number and the num here is that the current number is 10 times bigger or I hope I hope you understand what I mean so minus num times 10 then we will have this number because we yeah so it's working now And as you will see, now everything is working properly, or at least I hope so, because I'm, I don't know, uh, getting tired of fixing bugs. So one, two, three times five, plus five, and then four, five, eight, six, plus. Two, four, five, eight. Okay, 
then make one divided by zero. You cannot divide by zero. Six five two plus five. Six five seven clear button works. Seven eight nine minus three works. Then let's make some negative numbers. One minus one hundred twenty three times five. One minus six hundred what? Minus six hundred fifteen. So as I can see, everything is working properly. You can divide five divided by two. It's two point five. So I think we finished our calculator, and I'm thinking about making a, a simple tic-tac-toe game next time, which will have a single player and the two player mode and the single player mode will have uh, artificial intelligence in it so if you would like to see them please like this video and and uh, subscribe and thanks for watching this is the last time I you you see this calculator I will post in uh, on some pages the source code so you can you can uh, check it so thanks for watching see you next time